What is up, creator? It is awfully good to see you. Today, we're gonna learn how to fix OBS stream lag, but we're gonna handle it in a different way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make adjustments to OBS settings and some settings at YouTube, and we're gonna log in and we're gonna conduct an actual live stream, and I'm gonna clap my hands and I'm gonna log into the, another account with another computer, and we're going to time how long that clap sound takes to get to the second computer. This means we're gonna show you real world results from the modification of the settings and let me tell you i was blown out of the water on some of these modifications i had these preconceived notions on what i thought would make better speed but i was wrong our goal is to get under two seconds let's get some if you're new to the channel i want to welcome you we call ourselves the alliance of video excellence and the reason why is we are hunters for all the new technology and techniques to make your channel more engaging, more fun, and more cool for your own visitors. So if you want to get on the cusp of all the new tech that's available to do that, especially live streaming, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification every single week. Prior to conducting these tests, I was always worried about my connection speed in regards to it negatively affecting lag. I have now learned that if you get 30 megabits per second or higher, you are in perfectly good shape to get lag time that is really good. If you're under that, if you're in the 20 to 30 or under 20, it could be a problem. But for the most part, I think that 99% of all people on the internet have speeds that are within the capability of getting fantastic lag time. Okay, this graphic that you see here represents what I'm going to show you before each test. Basically, it's a report to show you what I'm modifying prior to the test. The text in gray represents the parameters that I am not going to modify. And if you notice, the first thing is the encoder. I'm gonna stick with NVIC new because I have a GeForce 20 series card. If you got a 10 series or a 20 series card, you're in good shape. You should be using NVIC. If you don't, and you wanna have experimentation with the X264, which is your CPU, let me know in comments and maybe I'll make another video testing that encoder. The text below, the black text, represents the parameters that we will be modifying from test to test, and the red text represents what I've modified. This is card one, so I'm showing everything is modified in this one, but if I go to the next card here, you'll see that I have frames per second as 30. That means that on the next test, the frames per second will be changed to 30. So I just wanna make sure you understand the purpose of these setting cards before we tear into it. Okay, here we go. Okay, as advertised, here's the first settings card for the first test. This reflects typical settings that I would used to use back in the day when I started out live streaming. We are at YouTube latency is set to normal. We're at 1080p with 9,000 kilobytes per second, and we're at 60 frames per second. Here we go. Oh man, 23 seconds, that is absolutely miserable. No one, and I mean no one, should use these settings for a live stream, period. Well, let's try to decrease the lag by reducing the frames per second by 30 instead of 60. Let's see if that works. Wow, that is incredible. Only just over one second of improvement when you cut the frames per second in half. That is absolutely remarkable. We're gonna keep it at 30 now and make some changes to some other parameters. Here we go. Okay, this time we're not gonna make any changes to OBS. We are gonna make one change over at the YouTube live stream setup page. We're gonna change it to low latency. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, this parameter is awesome. We just cut our lag time by more than 50%. Get some! 
Well, if we got terrific results with low latency, we've got to try ultra low latency. If we click it off at YouTube and scroll down, it says closed captions and 1440p and 4K resolutions are a no-go with this setting. We are fine with 1080p. Let's give it a go. Just wanted to remind you that I will be providing an Excel spreadsheet with all the collected information so that you can use it at any time you want. I will put a link at the end of this video. Ultra low latency just cut our time down to three seconds. A huge reduction, amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go into OBS and go into settings and we're gonna select stream and we're going to select the service not rtmp but this new one called rtmps i believe the s stands for secure socket layer so that you can conduct secure transactions over a live stream some have said that this is causes the stream to be slower others are saying that it possibly makes it faster we're going to test it right now Well, it's clear now that RTMPS has very little impact on latency. I have yet to test it on a live stream. If you're queasy about it because it's a beta, I recommend going with RTMP, but I will use this setting now for the, all the future tests. Let's keep on going. Okay, I have heard rumors from various people that if you uncheck look ahead and make max B frames one, that it will improve lag time. Let's give it a test. Oh yeah, we just shaved off another second. Every single streamer should be using these two settings. Awesome. Our goal is to get under two seconds and maybe if we reduce the frames per second from 30 to 25, which by the way, is almost impossible to tell visually, maybe that'll get us there. Let's give it a go. Okay, we reduced the frames by five and now we're at three seconds. I don't know if this is a fluke. I don't get it. If you understand why, why? we get more lag when you reduce the frames. Uh, let me know in comments, but I'm baffled on this one. Let's move on to the next test. Okay, our frames per second have been put back to 30, and now we're dropping down to 3,000 kilobits per second. Maybe we'll get under that two-second mark. Come on! Incredible, the lower bitrate did not improve the speed. We're gonna bring it back up to 9,000 and now we're gonna change the preset to quality and the profile to main. Essentially what we're gonna be doing is telling the encoder to back off with its encoding quality with hopes of getting some speed out of this thing. Come on, man. Oh, that was brutal. Well, that one knocked the air out of me. I thought for sure we'd be in good shape for two seconds, but unfortunately, no. Now our only other options is to, is to go from a video output size from 1080p to 720p. We're gonna be at 6,000 kilobits per second and we'll bump it up to 60 frames per second and see how it goes. Oh man, no joy, no joy. It looks like we just can't squeeze under that 215 mark. Let's try reducing the frames per second and see what we can get. No joy, this is the second time we decreased the frames per second and got an increase in lag. I just don't understand why that dynamic occurs. What? Okay, here's the final test. We're gonna reduce the kilobits per second to 2000. Cross your fingers. Wow, so what's the takeaway with this video? Well, the frames per second have very little impact. The bit rate seems to have very little impact in regards to lowering your latency. The best resolution is 1080p. You might be able to go higher, but it seems like on my system, you can live stream at 1080p with absolutely no worries. RTMPS has virtually no impact on latency. So being that it's a beta, I would recommend you going with RTMP. The look ahead as unchecked and the max B frames set to one is an absolute must. It does shave off time, not a lot, but it shaves off about one second. And it's one of the few OBS settings that actually make an impact. So definitely do that. And the most significant parameter doesn't even reside at OBS Studio. It resides 
on the YouTube live stream page. It should always be, every single time, ultra low latency. Don't be afraid of it. If you want captions, and maybe you shouldn't select it. Otherwise, if you're using 1080p, that's the selection you should be using every single time. This is Scott Victor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's the next video in the series. I will catch you over there. Best wishes. Stay strong. Keep fighting. I'm rooting for you. Get some.